1986, I met Leonard Bernstein. I was telephoned at two in the morning by uh, Clive Gillenson, who was then the managing director of the LSO. He's now at Carnegie Hall. And Clive said, uh, Lucas Foss was due to be on the podium tomorrow. Um, he's not been able to get on the plane across from New York because he has food poisoning. We need someone to stand in. Um, would you turn up at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and take it from there? And I said, I tried to appear a little bit modest and said, um, yes. And I turned up at 10 o'clock the next morning and rehearsed the LSO, uh, the London Symphony Orchestra, all day. And the evening I went and conducted the premiere of my own ballet score, The Snow Queen, with Sadler's Wells Royal Ballet at the Birmingham Pipitrome. And then I caught the train to London the next morning for the dress rehearsal with the LSO. About halfway through the dress rehearsal, there was this terrific rumpus at the back of the hall, flashing light bulbs. And uh, this great celebrity composer genius walked in with a silk scarf, um, cigarette, an entourage, and of course the press uh, literally hanging on his every word with the old fashioned flash bulbs that make a t tremendous noise. And um, he uh, came straight up to me and said, I know how you feel because I've stepped in when I was a young man and uh, I'm here to support you. And he was incredibly supportive. He was uh, quite fantastic. He was extremely um, uh, generous about me and uh, he really uh, enabled my career that night to have a tremendous launch and really from that day onwards things were never quite the same again. Pretty terrifying for Bramwell Tovey to have to come oh, back he's for the first time with he, you at his shoulder. He is a great hero of mine now. I mean, I've never met him before this morning, but I, he's become one of the great people of my life. I will never interrupt again. It's so much better. I just have to interrupt to say that it makes it's like night and day. Just that little difference. Mm -hmm. But you still have to give more time for ba ba da ba da ba ba ba. Right, okay. <laughs> Last summer, uh, when I conducted Tan uh, in Tanglewood, I conducted Candide, the um, daughters of Lola Bernstein came, uh, Jamie and Nina. And um, Nina was actually at the concert at the Barbican way back in 1986. But it was great to uh, connect with them. And in fact, I had my picture taken with them uh, right beside um, the Bernstein bust that's in um, Kusevitsky's house in Tanglewood. I went in the summer of 1986 to Tanglewood to study with Bernstein. He was performing there with the Boston Symphony Orchestra, um, and the violin soloist was Midori, and, uh, and I was able to sit in all those rehearsals. I was in the audience when Midori famously broke two strings in one performance at the age of 14. And um, it was a tremendous uh, fillip for me musically and personally, and. Uh, intellectually, uh, extraordinary to be within the orbit of that genius.